Hey Todayers, it's Ryan with another whiteboard tutorial. Specifically today, I am going to talk to you about how to utilize a whiteboard to accomplish your goals. So many of you know that I use the whiteboard behind me to go after the World Championship of Public Speaking a few years ago. And there are a variety of ways that I have utilized this whiteboard specifically to accomplish goals and now to really run my business. So the first type of whiteboard that I used and what I did with the World Championship was I wrote my name, Ryan Avery, and then the goal, 2012 World Champion of Public Speaking, and I used the whiteboard as a mind map. It was very effective and I'd highly recommend you think about doing it that way. Now if you're running a business and you have more than one goal that you're trying to accomplish, I would recommend you use it the way that I'm about to share it with you. So let's get started. I broke it up into three different sections. Goals, coaching, and ideas, and I'll explain why. Up here in this corner and right here in the middle are my goals that I want to accomplish for the long term, more like what I want to accomplish in the year. I use my P3 times a day system, which is another whiteboard tutorial. I'll put the link down below so you can check that out. It's not based off of a year time frame, but more long term, what do I want to accomplish? So I put that here and this section of my whiteboard very rarely changes until I accomplish one of these three things. Over here is where I change it every single month. These are my monthly goals. And what I've done is I've written down the things that I want to accomplish and how I want to make my financial goals happen. So right now my keynote is at and my trainings are at $5,000 and $7,800 depending on which one people choose. So I have a goal of $27,800 for October. You see here that I've put in $4,682, but I haven't circled any one of my goals. And that's because this is a variety of different incomes that I receive from individual coaching or my book royalties or a variety of different things. So I don't consider this to be part of my $27,000. I have to get it from this. So what I do is I list out my prospects in October and November for who I'm going after, who I'm meeting. Now I've made some big mistakes starting out speaking and I know I'll probably make a lot more. But what I did wrong when I was first starting out is I would just focus on the month at hand. But you really need to focus on at least one, two months in advance. Who are you meeting with? Who are you getting to go out to lunch with? And the reason why is you might have a meeting in October, that deal might not go out until December, and then you might not even speak until the following April 2015. Another thing is you don't circle these goals off until the contract and cash are in hand. So do I have about three different keynotes and trainings that I'm going to be doing this month and meeting with? Absolutely. But I have not received the contract or cash, so I have not circled that off yet. I also just added this one here. I want to sell 5,000 more copies of Speaker Leader Champion before April 1st. So I am putting that up there. I just sold 100 and what I'm doing is I'm tying that into as a reminder that I can do that with my keynotes and trainings. So goals right here, long term, short term. Down here on these two tiles, it says coach because this is where I do my coaching, right here. Many of you know I do Skype one-on-one -on -one coaching calls and I do it in my office where I add the objectives that we're going to accomplish that day. So I put down the strategies, the tasks, and then the person's homework that I want them to go after for that specific meeting. And then over here is where when we're talking for our hour coaching call, I'll write down the ideas and the strategies and the different things that we talk about. Then. I take a photo on my phone, just like this. Uh, this is the last coaching call that I had. Take a photo, send it to my client, and he has or she has a copy, and I have a copy. It's wonderful for me. And the reason why I put coaching down here is, well, because my desk is here, and when Skype is in session, they only see this section. The other part of my whiteboard are my ideas. We have ideas all the time, right? Well, up here, my long-term ideas, what I'm going to do, maybe not necessarily in the next six months, but what I want to accomplish maybe when I'm 30 or 35. And I put those big ideas up here. And then this section, I put my ideas that I could implement in the next week or the next couple months. And I think about it and I 
get into what can I do to make that idea a reality. This is how I utilize my whiteboard and I'd highly recommend you doing the same. Goals, if you coach, focus on right here with putting your desk in front of it so you can show firsthand what you're working with on your client. And then ideas. Utilize a whiteboard, please, please, please. It's so powerful and you can accomplish so much when you do it. This has been another whiteboard tutorial with Ryan Avery. Make sure you check out ryanavery.com for articles every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm looking forward to the next one and I hope you have a great day.